Hey Agents, this is Manny. One of my close associates, Enan, showed me a really cool way to grind target loot and named items, and that is by running Countdown Solo, just to kill the hunters. You can do this in a group even quicker, but if you're someone who enjoys playing solo, then this is great for you. I'll show you my build and what is needed, and then I'll show you a quick run through. There's several spawn locations, but the strategy stays the same no matter where you spawn. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when there's new videos. And if you're looking for someone to game with, you can find me and other players in the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. All right, now for the build. I'm going to show you my build, and I'm going to tell you um, what is necessity and what is not. So this is essentially uh, my... I copied this. This was a build I already had. This was my Iron Horse Boss 1 Take Out the Shield Guys build. So basically one shot, head tap on the Shield Guys to kill them all with a couple changes. So now I specialization I chose is Sharpshooter, and that is specifically because of the flashbang grenades, all right? It has a 7-meter radius. So that means a 14 meter diameter. Nothing else comes close to that, all right? Five meters is it. So seven is the way you want. It's hard for the hunters to roll out of that. So that's why I recommend that. Uh, and then for my primary M1A, a CQB is excellent. Uh, we have damage out of cover and we have uh, rifleman on that. Now I am running sharpshooter, so I should have the digital scope on here. I don't right now. I should fix that. And then obviously we have extra round mag, crit hit chance, crit hit chance mods on the barrel and the muzzle. All right. Secondary weapon, I'm just running a FAMAS. You can run whatever you want. Um, it doesn't matter. We're pretty much not going to use it. And then for your primary, this is this is truly your primary is your pistol. So you want the highest damage pistol you have. Mine is Regulus. Regulus is the highest damning, damaging pistol in the game. So you want to use Regulus if you have it. If you don't, get yourself a D50. Uh, probably put something like Ranger on it or something like that would probably work out pretty well. And that's for the pistol. So like I said, the highest damaging pistol. Regulus is the one you want if you have it. The other, uh, and then the rest of it. So I'm going, you want all headshot damage. So I'm going punch drunk. You get the 20% headshot here. You get 20% pistol damage. This piece is excellent for any kind of these pistol builds. Uh, credit chance and then headshot damage mod on it. For my chest piece, I'm risking it, risking it for the biscuit. All right, we got the sacrifice with headshot damage, crit chance. I'm sorry, crit damage. I should reroll as a crit hit chance and headshot damage mod. We get perfectly gas cannon, uh, which amplifies damage by 30%, but we take 6% more damage. You're going to die anyway by the hunter, so it doesn't really matter. This is actually a pretty good piece for this. Now, for another necessity, you have to have this. Doesn't matter what other pieces you run with, you must have Dodge City Gunslinger Holster. And that is for quick draw talent, right? So it stacks up to every three seconds, it stacks up to 100, and you get 10% damage per stack. Excellent. Lot, tons and tons of damage. This is how you're going to one shot them. Uh, backpack. Uh, you don't need this exact backpack, but I would recommend having uh, Vigilance. So this is the gift. This is the named Providence piece, which is nice because it has 15% headshot damage. And if I, I have two Providence pieces, uh, the, the sacrifice is also Providence. So we get the brand set bonus. We get headshot damage, 15%, and crit hit chance, 10%, which is nice. Uh, it's got a headshot damage on it, uh, crit hit chance on it, and headshot damage mod. Now, Vigilance is what you want. If you don't have the gift, the named item, you can get a regular Providence uh, backpack with regular Vigilance. The only difference is instead of taking four seconds for the damage to come off, uh, instead of taking three, it takes four seconds. You still get 25% damage, so excellent piece. Then for the gloves, really easy one, Contractor's Gloves with headshot damage on it, and then Fox Prayer's Knees for the headshot damage on them as well. You get damage out of cover in that. Now, for the last two things, is your skills. We're going with the Achilles Pulse. So uh, the Achilles Pulse does, it finds a weak spot and does headshot damage to that spot. So that's why we're going heavy headshot damage. The basic thing, any build you put together, it must have headshot damage. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. Make sure you have headshot, lots of, lots of headshot damage. Then the last skill we're going to use is the Riot Foam. This is to keep the hunters in place when they start running around. So you got two things. You got... You got the flashbangs and you get the riot foam. That's how you're going to control the hunters. And then he kills pulse is how you're going to do most of the damage. So uh, three major things you need. You need the, uh, a heavy duty pistol. Regulus is the best. You need to have Dodge City Gunslinger holster. Everyone should have that. And you need the Achilles pulse. Those are three necessities. The rest of it, just make sure you have headshot damage and you'll do fine. All right, so let's start a countdown now. So go to your map over to the right here. We got countdown, G... Create countdown, not matchmaking. We want to create one because we don't want to be the only one in there. Go ahead and start it and confirm. Yes, you know it's eight people, but we'll do it solo. 
All right, so make sure we holster that pistol because we want to start getting those stacks. Now let's take a peek at the map. Unclick that. We don't care about it. All right, so a couple things. So this is the one we need. It has pro resistance. Now we have a hunter here, a hunter here, a hunter here, and a hunter over here. Uh, there are four spawn locations. The one I'm in right now, there's a spawn location here, spawn location here, and one over here. These three are pretty much easier because you can take care of this one hunter and kind of work this way. This gets tough because I often always have trouble. Like I kill this hunter. And then I try to sneak around and get this hunter, and I end up aggroing this hunter. But good news is, with Hasbro, if I can kill this hunter right away, then I can use Hasbro for these ones. I can use my... Um... So if you end up having this spawn location, the southeast spawn location, and this one or this one is the Hasbro, you might want to just reset your countdown. It makes it a little difficult to try to get through the three hunters without uh, have, being able to foam them or use the flashbang. So that is my advice, just leave the countdown and start a new one if, if one of these two are actually has pro and you have the southeast start point foam or my uh, uh flashbangs so let's get that guy first we have full stacks on our holster and we're gonna run up to these barrels and we're gonna actually start doing cover to cover moves here because i don't want him to know i'm here we can actually get pretty close to him without him even aware of us. It should be right there. Now, all right, so now we're gonna do Achilles. Hopefully we get a head or a body shot. If we get a leg, detect a body shot, nice. Now we should be able to just tap him without him even seeing us. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna walk up here. First thing we're gonna do is grab this. This is the Hasbro one. So now we can actually use our foam and our grenades. And that's what we wanna do. All right, so switch. Oh, I should have did that right away. Make sure you switch back to your, uh, hold on, mask. Crit edge. I want one with headshot damage. Closer, weapon handling. I would like one with crit chance and headshot damage is what we're looking for. Closer. All right, so uh that's that. Now we're gonna try to we're gonna try to move up here without the hunter seeing us. So oh, he noticed us. Alright. So there is um System run this way. I don't know if they both saw us or he saw us. Sometimes you get just one. Sometimes you get two. I don't know where he went, though. That's the problem. Oh, he's right here. Ready? System back online. Wait from the kick. There we go. You don't want to shoot right away when you have the legs. Um, thanks to Vandit and Enan once again for uh, their tips. If you shoot uh, when they foamed and you hit them in the leg, you hit the foam and you lose your actual uh, holster charge. So make sure you got to see they'll kick their legs. The hunters will kick their legs. As soon as he kicks his legs, that means he's free and the foam's not there and you can shoot him in the leg. So just wait. Arms, body, and head shoot right away. But the legs wait till the foam is gone. Wait for that leg kick and you'll be good to go. All right, so let's see if we can, oh, put my hold, my, hold my weapon. Let's see if this guy doesn't see me. I just want to kind of grab this stuff. He sees me. That's right, all right, though. All right, so we're going to have to, uh, we've been compromised here. That's all right. I'm going to do this. Shoot, I can't see him. All right, we got a head and just shoot him in the head and kill him. That's nice. All right. Uh, nothing we want. All right, so we're going to keep going on. Holster that weapon. We got one more hunter to kill. He's the furthest one away. We should be able to get the last two um, buffs before we kill him. But once again, we're going to do some cover to cover moving. So... This one first. All right. We are going to run up to here, these barrels. Then we're going to target that and run up to the fence. Oops. Run up to here. All right. And then do this. The hunter, he's still sitting over there, right? So we'll be able to foam him, Achilles him, and hopefully one tap him. 
All right, so we have that. Go this. Boom. Achilles. Detected body shot. Oh, I actually did use the AR. All right, guys. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash the subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening, starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'd be happy to answer any questions live on stream. Until next time, agents, happy hunting.